Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the non-commissioned officer sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The Sergeant Major as the senior enlisted leader and advisor is the keeper of traditions for his or her unit. Today's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one Sergeant Major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major John W. Scott, subject, permanent change of station orders. Effective 10 22 April 2016, you are hereby relieved from your present duty and are directed to report to the Commanding General, Marine Corps Forces, Cyberspace Command for duty as the Command Sergeant Major. Signed, Robert B. Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Commandant of the Marine Corps, to Sergeant Major Douglas B. Schaefer, subject, permanent change of station orders. Effective 10 22 April 2016, you are appointed as the Command Sergeant Major, United States Marine Corps Forces Special Operations Command, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Signed, Robert B. Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. I think everyone here that's uh, part of the command and those that have been affiliated with the command in some way or another have uh, come to understand what a uh, tremendous leader he is, uh, truly a selfless Marine who's dedicated himself not only to you know, making uh, MARSOC better, but making sure that MARSOC within the greater Marine Corps, within the greater soft community is not only uh, well represented, but actually a, a shining light out there. And so, uh, you know, Sergeant Major, I just can't thank you enough for your dedication, you know, to the Marines, uh, to MARSOC, and uh, just for all the welfare and all the attention to their welfare and uh, everything that's gone on. I'd also like to uh, welcome uh, Sergeant Major uh, Schaefer and uh, Carla and your family. I uh, really am looking forward to working with you. Your reputation is phenomenal uh, from the past and really looking forward to having you all come on board and being part of the family, being part of the team, and then taking this even a little bit further. And uh, just from a personal and professional perspective, uh, really excited about it and looking forward to it. I know we kind of throw around that term that we, you know, uh, that we love our Marines, but no, I, I genuinely care about those men and women out there. Uh, so, the quote's been attributed to many different people. I've seen Kipling and Orwell and Churchill. Uh, so, we sleep safely at night in our, in our beds because rough men stand ready in the night to visit violence on those who would harm us. So, I'll leave you with this. Americans, the Marine Raiders are alive and well and they're on the watch. It's all good. Simple five dollars. I am going to do everything I can to advocate, support, and get what the uh, Raiders and our families need and bust my back for them. That's why I'm here and I'm your Sergeant Major. My hatch is always open to everybody. Marines, sailors, civilian, mar civilian Marines. Um, I'm proud to be here. Commander of Troops is Sergeant Major Young from 3rd Marine Raider Battalion. The 2nd Marine Air Wing Band under the direction of Staff Sergeant Genovese.
the MSC commander from Marine Raider Support Group, Ms. Sergeant Major Collins. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as the colors pass. The color sergeant for the United States Marine Corps Forces Special Operations Command is Staff Sergeant Gotch. The MSC commander for Marine Raider Regiment is Sergeant Major McDonald. The MSC commander for Marine Special Operations School is Master Gunnery Sergeant Wells. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines' Hymn.